Okay. So good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I hope all of you remember what we studied in last class. Raise your hand. Yes. है ना तो पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू हम लोगों ने पूरा कर लिया था पॉइंट वन पॉइंट टू कम्प्लीट हो गया था राइट सो आई विल स्टार्ट विद रिविजन ठीक है डोंट वरी आई स्टार्ट विद रिविजन हम लोग रिविजन से ही स्टार्ट करेंगे देन आई कंप्लीट द रिमेनिंग टॉपिक्स ठीक है ताकि तुम लोगों को सॉल्व करने का टाइम मिल जाए ओके राइट ठीक है चलो सो लेट स्टार्ट सो आई विल स्टार्ट रिविजन विथ क्रिस्टॉप लॉ है ना सो क्रिस्टॉप लॉ से हम रिविजन स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं Now we know that when you talk about Kirchhoff's law, there are two Kirchhoff's laws, right? One is junction law, and second is, tell me, loop law, है ना? So what is junction law? Tell me, what is junction law? Tell me. I've up already uploaded this. ठीक है, so you can just go through for definitions for notes. I've already uploaded this. But we know that when you talk about a junction law, it says that the net current, right? Net current either entering the junction or leaving the junction, right? should be zero sum of net current right sum of net current which is entering the junction or leaving the junction is zero now to it totally depends on convention right tum kis convention mein mante ho jaise you can consider i1 so the current entering the junction as positive and the current leaving the junction as negative or you can uh, consider current leaving the junction as positive and current entering the junction as negative right so this is totally your convention theek hai right so this is your tell me First law, which is KCL or Kirchhoff's current law. Now, when we talk about second loop law, so loop law says, loop law says that net voltage, right? Net voltage drop in a closed loop is always zero. Yes or no? Net voltage drop in a closed loop is always zero, right? This is your voltage law, है ना? Right? ठीक है? Now, yes, very good. So here we have some points, right? Some shortcut points. Or basically, some points that we already know, but it is written in the point-wise form, है ना? So the points are first, if wire is stretched to n times its original length, right? The new resistance will be n times. I hope all of you know this, है ना? Because if it is a stretch, volume is not going to change. V one will be equal to V one, sorry, V two, right? है ना? So that we will get the ratio L one by L two will be equal to A two by A one, right? है ना? Hence Hence, using this concept, R1 by R2 will become L1 by L2 whole square, or A2 by A1 का whole square. ठीक है? Yes or no? ये इसी इसी दोनों में कुछ होगा, right? इसी दोनों में कुछ होगा. Yes or no? ठीक है? Okay. Now these all are these all are just the points, right? That we have studied till now. ठीक है? That we have studied till now. इसको point वाज मार्क दे दिया गया है. Just go through it once. Okay, अभी नहीं class के बाद I've already reported this. Just go through once. Okay. Now I hope all of you remember this kind of problems. We have solved these kind of problems. Yes or no? Right. So this is a very basic, very basic example of very basic example of KVL, Kirchhoff's voltage law. Right. So we will just apply KVL, है ना? We will just apply KVL in this whole loop. So here the current is taken in anti-clockwise direction. So that is just the Convention, है ना? You can take in clockwise or anti-clockwise doesn't matter because if you take in anti-clockwise, right? है ना? So here you just take in anti-clockwise. So if we will take current in clockwise direction, what will happen? The current will be negative, right? है ना? So I can say, sir, in that case, in that case, right? If current is negative, I can say that the current is actually in opposite direction, right? Opposite opposite direction. As compared to what we, right? Assumed, ठीक है, right? So this is easy. We have already done this. I'm just revising these things, ठीक है? I'm just revising these things. Now, how many of you remember this example? The last question that I told you to solve. I hope all of you remember this. Raise your hand. Tell me, how many of you remember this? Now, I told you to solve this, right? How many of you solve this? How many of you solve this? Sir, ये question नहीं similar question था मॉडल में. Some wireless. हाँ मतलब exactly ये नहीं similar. Similar मतलब exactly same. Exactly same मतलब data change होगा तो ऐसा but almost same. हाँ sir data change हुआ था बाकी सब तो same ही था. हाँ 
So I told you that this is a good problem. How many of you tried it? Tell me, how many of you tried it? Raise your hand. How many of you tried it? Okay. So this is, as I told you, right? This is one good problem. Okay. This is one good problem. So let us try to solve this. Let us try to solve this. Okay. Everyone, let us try to solve this first. Okay. Right. So we have to find the potential difference between A and B. That is what we need to do. We need to find the potential difference between A and B. How to do that? How to do that, right? So question is this answer check. Okay, now the thing is we have two different loops, right? We have two different loops. I can just sir, assume that current in this loop is I1 and current in this loop is I2. Yes or no? I and up. Right? And there's no common loop. There's no common loop. As simple as that. There's no common loop. Clear, everyone? Everyone is clear? Right? Chalo. So can I, can I write the cable equation in loop one? So this is loop one, right? This is loop one and this is loop two. Step by step, so step one, step one, write cable in loop one, KVL in loop one. In loop one. So since the current is I1, right? Since the current is I1, so if it is two ohm, I'll just, I'll just rub it, right? Wait, I'll just rub it. Okay, I'll just drop this out. Right? And a current direction I'll just take according to this only. Okay. So it would be what? I1 into 2. If you remember the shortcut, I'm just using the shortcut. Anna, I hope all of you remember the shortcut. Yes or no? Right? So is loop make it their resistance? Though 2 or 3. So it is what? I1 into 2 plus 3. There is no Common loop, right? There's no common point. So I2 to I any. Now current is entering inside the battery. So it is minus two volt is equal to zero. Right? So I1 nickel yana seven So it is two by five. This is equal to 0 0.4 ampere. Easy here. Tell me, easy, easy enough. I1 nickel here. 0 0.4 ampere. Anyone have any doubt? Right? Now in loop two, in the same way, in loop two, in Loop two. So current direction, how much is it? How much current direction is it? Right? This is the direction of current, right? So in this case also, I two. What is the? Tell me, what is the total resistance? Five plus three. Five plus three. Plus. Now current is entering inside the battery, so it is again minus four is equal to zero. So I two, how much is it? I two is equal to four divided by eight. So this is 0 0.5 ampere. Anyone have any doubt in this? Yeah, Raise your hand. Anisha, yes, Anisha, Sumaya, Siddesh, Siddharth, Shreya. Priyanka is not here till now. Everyone, everyone is getting till this point. Awesome. Now, what we need to do, we need to find the potential between A and B. We need to find potential between A and B. What we can use? Tell me. What we can I use the basic concept of KVL, right? Sir, it will be potential. So let us this be A, this be C, and this be D. This be D. This be D. So can I tell, can I say that, sir, VA minus, tell me, VA minus, tell me, VA minus VC is equal to, sorry, plus, plus, VC minus VD plus VD minus VB is equal to VAB, 
BMS may be high enough, high enough, right? And we have to calculate this only, na? We have to calculate VAB only. So VAB is equal to what is BMS VC? Tell me. BMS VC kya hoga? I one into three? Yes or no? Ha ya na hatha lo. Right. So this is I one into three plus VC minus VD. VC minus VD. So minus four volt. Minus four plus VD minus VB. VD minus VB is what? I two into I two into three. Nikal gaya sabse. I one kitna zero point four, right? Zero point four plus zero point five. Into three minus four. How much is it? Tell me zero point nine into three. Zero point two seven. Zero point okay two point seven. Two point seven minus four. So this is equal to VAB is equal to minus one point three volt. Aye na. Yes sir. Right. Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt in this? Step by step. What they do? Step by step. What they do? Okay, so it is minus three into zero point four, right? And now minus four. Okay, wait, wait. यहाँ पे एक छोटी सी गलती हुई है, गलती ये हुई है। देखो direction देखो। यहाँ पे current जो है वो C से A में आ रहा है, और हम A से C जा रहे हैं। तो यहाँ पे plus की जगह क्या हो जाएगा? Minus हो जाएगा ना? हाँ या ना? Tell me. This is minus, right? Right, everyone? Right? है ना? यहाँ पे छोटी सी गलती हुई है। This will be what? This will be minus I one into three. है ना? Because current is coming from C to A. Current is coming from C to A, but I have I'm taking from A to C. ठीक है? Right? So it is what? It is minus zero point four into three minus four plus zero point five into three. So it is basically three minus three point seven minus three point seven. Anyone have any doubt? The B A B is equal to minus three point seven. ठीक है, clear ये चीज, anyone have any doubt in this? Right, done, okay, clear. चलो, very good, very good. So this was the basic example of K B L, right? So next topic, next topic is again I have already revised this, so I'm just revising it. ठीक है? So next topic is EMF, electromotive force. So what is the EMF? Tell me, what is the EMF? EMF when you talk about the battery, okay. When you talk about battery, so there is a potential difference across the terminals of the battery, and now there is a potential difference across the terminal of the battery, and there is a potential difference due to the chemical reactions, and both of them are not the same, right? Both of them are not the same, and now so because there are some internal resistance also. ठीक है, right? There are some internal resistance also. So when we talk about terminal potential, terminal voltage, and EMF, so EMF is the potential developed inside the battery by the chemical reactions. है या ना? और ये हम लोग बीच में पढ़ेंगे क्लास कल्ट में पूरा चैप्टर इलेक्ट्रोमैस्ट्री का, ठीक है? पूरा पूरा चैप्टर के इलेक्ट्रोमैस्ट्री का। So I can say, sir, in this case, this depends on this EMF depends on the reaction. First of all, it depends on the reaction. हाँ या ना सिंपल है EMF is due to the reaction chemical reaction so it depends on what nature of electrolyte metal of electro electrodes area of plate distance between the electrodes quantity of electrodes and size of the cell because everything everything right all of these factors will tell me change the reaction है ना right ठीक है okay so we don't have to worry much about electromotive force. We just have to know that what is electromotive force. So basically, this is a potential difference across the or due to the chemical reaction inside the battery. And terminal voltage is the potential across the cell total total cell, right? Hena? 
Now, if you think about it, I hope all of you can write the KV equation. Suppose this is VA and this is VB. And the current is going in like this. Right? So I can say VB minus IR. Right? Here battery is in the battery. What will happen? Tell me if I'm talking about current is going like this. Okay, the current is going like this. Right? So VB plus IR plus IR minus E is equal to zero, right? Or is equal to VA. I and I. So if, if you talk about this, right? If you talk about this, A is there, what is there? So what will happen? VB minus VA, right? Is equal to what? E minus IR. Right? Anna. Or VA minus VB is equal to what? E minus IR. This potential minus potential will be this E minus IR. Anna. Because when you talk about potential, think about it. When you talk about potential, here is some potential, then what will happen? potential will drop here, right? Here is some potential drop here, right? And the drop in the potential due to this internal resistance is IR. So the potential across the terminal will be E minus IR, okay? Right? So this is a case of discharging. This is a case of discharging, right? This is a case of discharging, right? Now, when you talk about charging, charging case, what is in charging case? Mein, charging case, mein, current would go inside the battery, right? In the case of charging, the current will go inside the battery, right? So in that case, the direction of current would be in this direction, okay? So in this case, mein, V is equal to E plus IR. I hope all of you remember this. We already Tell me, so this is a case of discharging where the battery is acting as a source and this is a case of charging where the battery is acting as a sink. So the only difference is here, the potential drop between the terminals, this terminal, right? It is E minus IR and here it is E plus IR, which we can easily find using KCL. Right, everyone? Tell me, hi, Anna. Suppose I'm going to do revision. This is just a revision, right? Okay, and this is very important. Okay, Chalo. Okay, very good. Okay. Now, after that, we studied what? Tell me, after that, we studied the combination of cells. And I hope all of you remember that, sir, after this, we studied the combination of cells, right? So, this is your series combination. When you talk about series combination, right? Net EMF, net EMF is what, sir? Net EMF is the addition of all the, these EMFs. Right, which is what net EMF or equivalent EMF is E1 plus E2 plus E3 dot 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 EN. Anna, we have already discussed this last class, that's why I'm not writing it. I'm just showing you showing you. I hope all of you can get this. Ayana, right? Now, when you talk about resistance, tell me all these resistance are in series or parallel. Tell me. All of these resistance are in series, na Ayana. Right? So if all of them are in series, if all of them are in series, can I say, sir, the equivalent resistance will be R1 plus R2 plus R3 dot dot dot, right? Now, what is what about current? So we know that's the current I is total potential, which is NE, thereby total resistance, which is R plus NR, right? So this is the formula. This is the formula, right? Now, if this value R is very, very less, very, very less than what? Very, very less than capital R, right? This is also called, called as load resistance. Capital R, it is also called as load resistance. Okay, right? It is also called as load resistance. Then you can just ignore this. You can just ignore NR. Okay, the formula would be what? I is equal to any plus any by R. Okay, right? Now that is again, again, the approximation rate is very less. Now, second is parallel combination. Now, when you talk about parallel combination, so by definition, by definition, the current, right, will be divided into each segment, but the potential across these two will be same. Anna? So here, if, if we have same resistor, right, same EMF, the potential drop across this, right, will be what? Tell me, will be what? I hope all of you remember now, we have calculated. How many of you remember that we have calculated? It is what? Summation of EI by RI divided by one by R plus 
summation of 1 by ri ayana ayana how many of you remember this tell me raise your hand yes sir right now here e and r are same e and r are same right okay so this is general this is general formula that we have already calculated and i hope all of you remember this ayana ye sab kuch samajh mein aa gaya tha tell me right ayana so if if r is same if r is same you can take r common and divide it you can take r common and divide it you will get this because potential across each point each point hai na right theek hai so these are the resistance in parallel these are the resistance in parallel hai na so potential across these these this this is e only so i can say this circuit can be this circuit can be written like this Yes or no? Tell me. The circuit can be written as this. Where this is E, because all these points, all these points are at same potential, and this, all these resistances are in parallel. So it is what? It is R by M. If we have M loops, M M loops, so it is R by M, and this is capital R, right? Can I do that? Can I do that? Tell me. Raise your hand. Hi Anna. Right, sir. इसके बीच का प्रिंसिपल इसके बीच का प्रिंसिपल इसके बीच का प्रिंसिपल इसके बीच का प्रिंसिपल तब तो ई है ना बिकॉज़ दे आर इन पैरेलल राइट सो आई कैन जस्ट राइट लाइक दिस सो व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ करंट सर करंट इज व्हाट ई डिवाइड बाय आर बाय एम प्लस आर राइट ये याद रखना सबको ये याद रखना ठीक है यस और नो ठीक है क्लियर हो गया ये एवरीवन This is series. Yes, this sir. Is Now next is mixed combination. Okay, right. Very good, Ashwin. Next is mixed combination. Whether series be or parallel be. So think about it, everyone. Very basic concept is coaching. Very basic concept is coaching. So series be or parallel be. So let us talk about only one point. Let us talk about only this. Only this. So in this, suppose we have n battery, n battery, and n resistor, n resistor. The is a loop ka is a is a loop ka EMF कितना होगा? E net कितना हो जाए? Tell me, everyone, what is E net here? Who are you? Tell me, yes or no? Tell me, guys, what is the E net? What is E net? Yes, है ना? क्योंकि n battery Series net will be n into e, and what is R net? What is R equivalent to one? R equivalent one. If it is a parallel net, then it is a series net. So R equivalent one will be how much? N into R small r. Yes or no? One loop. One loop. Agree? Everyone agree? Hi Anna. Tell me yes or no. Step by step. Step by step. Priyanka, Hima, Sanya, anyone? Samya, Anuga, Krishna. Has minuta. Okay, very good. Now, can I just come? Can I just make it into this? Can I just convert it into this now? Right. This come as much as I can. Now, instead of e, it is any. Instead of e, it is any, and instead of r, it is nr. Can I do that? Can I do that? Can I just come make this equal into this? Hi Anna. Now, series value I have done with you. I have just parallel with you. Just hi Anna. Tell me yes or no. स्टेप बाय स्टेप पहुंचेगा सब कोई राइट है ना सीरीज में मैंने क्या कर दिया मैंने इक्वलेंट ईएमएफ निकाल दिया मैंने इक्वलेंट रेजिस्टेंस निकाल दिया नाउ आई कैन से दैट सर इन दिस केस वी हैव एम लूप्स सो अब टोटल टोटल सर्किट कैसा हो जाएगा सर इट विल बी लाइक दिस अब ये पूरा एनी है सो दिस एनी नाउ टेल मी वी हैव एनआर रेजिस्टेंस राइट ये एनआर है एक का वैल्यू और ऐसे मुझे मेरे पास एम रेजिस्टेंस है So don't you think so? It would be, it would be like this. This will be N R by M, I N R step by step, I N R because N R is one value, so M resistance parallel will be same. So it is N R by M. Clear? It is step by step, I N R. This is clear, everyone. This is clear. Tell me, clear? Is it clear? Okay. Yes, Now I hope you understood how 
आरनेट इज एन आर बाई एन एंड हाउ इनेट इज एन ये सब क्लियर हो गया ये सब क्लियर हो गया यू हैव टू राइट दीज इन योर नोटबुक है ना कंप्लीट होने के बाद सेम वे दैट आई एम सेम ठीक है सेम वे ओके चलो चलो वेरी गुड एवरीवन वेरी गुड ओके वेरी गुड नाउ व्हाट इज आई आई की वैल्यू कितना हो जाएगा व्हाट इज आई व्हाट इज आई सर आई इज इक्वल टू ई नेट ई नेट बाई आर टोटल विच इज एन आर बाई एन प्लस आर आर प्लस एन आर बाई एन राइट हाँ या ना हाँ या ना एलमीएस और नो हाँ सर तो ये यही वही है वही है एलमी वही है क्लियर सबको सबको समझ में आ रहा है ये चीज देखो सबको समझ में आ रहा है सर I is equal to e net by R plus small R net, which is any by R plus n by n. Okay. So this is this is the mixed. This is your mixed combination. This is your mixed combination. I hope all of you got this. All of you got this, right? Hi, Anna. So if you, 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 if you Give a look. Okay, sorry guys, it was it was not recorded. Okay, right. Everything that I told till now was not recorded. Okay, so I'll just repeat again. Class was not recorded. Whatever I said till now is not recorded. I guess. Okay, so galvanometer is an instrument which measures the deflection of current. Right, so it measures the current. Okay, deflection of current. Now, how can I make this galvanometer into ammeter? So, I can do that by connecting a shunt, right? Shunt resistance. What is a shunt resistance? Shunt resistance is basically a very small resistance which is connected in parallel with the galvanometer coil. Why it is used? Because it will divert most of the current from the galvanometer to toward itself, and it prevents the galvanometer coil from burning, right? and depending on that it can be converted to ammeter of various tell me range right various range okay now if you use the concept of kvl kvl ohms law bpq is equal to ig into rg and this is also equal to i minus right i minus tell me ig into rs now since both of resistance are equal right both sorry, both the potential are equal I can calculate R S is R G into I G by I G plus R G. Now, can you calculate I G also? Can you calculate I G also? Right? Let us calculate I G R G is equal to I R S minus I G R G. So minus I G R S. This will go up, this will go down. So I G will be I I into R S divided by R G plus R S. Why not? Right, so you can remember this: I R S by R G plus R S. Simple, yes or no? Simple. Right, ratio le loge na? Ye ratio le loge. Resistance ka tabhi aa jayega. Clear? Everyone clear in this? Anyone have any doubt in this? Raise your hand. Anyone have any doubt in this? Raise your hand. Ye do chhe samajh maaye? You can just Note it down. You can just note it in your notebook. But these two concepts you should remember. Okay. So I hope all of you understood how can a con uh, galvanometer be converted into ammeter, right? What is Ig? What is Rg? Okay. Right. Okay. Now what about potentiometer? Sorry. What about voltmeter? Tell me. What about voltmeter? What about voltmeter? so we know that sir voltmeter is required let us see this suppose i want to find the potential across this resistor everyone think about it right i want to find potential across this resistor this r1 r1 is a resistor and i want to find the potential across these two tell me right i want to find e minus bb now tell me what should be the condition tell me everyone think about it what should be the condition sir if i am talking potential across this Most of the current should pass through this only, na? 
high enough. Most of the current should pass to R1. Yes or no? Because V is equal to I R. Right? If current will be less, if current will be less, the potential across this that we will be measuring will be less. Yes or no? Right? So this, this circuit should be such a way that very less amount of current will pass through this. Very less current pass through this. High enough. High enough. Right? So how is it possible? How is it possible? How can I make galvanometer into ammeter, sorry, voltmeter? Or how can I control the current, right? So I can say, okay, so it is very easy, very easy. We know that if there's a very high resistance, think about it, if there's very high resistance, very high resistance, very, very high resistance, right? As compared to R1, the current will mostly flow through this high enough, high enough, yes or no? Think about it, high enough, right? Yes. So can I say, okay, sir, if that is the case, if that is the case, we know that I should have an ammeter, sorry, I should have a voltmeter, voltmeter where, and what is voltmeter? Voltmeter is basically galvanometer, galvanometer, and a very high resistance, very high resistance factor in parallel. So this is R, and the value of this is very high, very high, very high, right? Clear here? Tell me, clear here? High enough. High enough. So voltage across this is obviously it is IR. So suppose this is IG, this is IG. So IGR, right? IGR plus IG into RG is equal to V, potential across these two terminals, right? So I hope all of you can get R. R is V by IG minus RG. Tell me, everyone, tell me, step by step, take your time. Everyone got this? Everyone got this? You just read the golden points, right? You're not recording it. Sorry, guys, I keep forgetting. Right? Please remind me. If it is not getting recorded, please remind me. So this is your ammeter, right? This is your ammeter. No, voltmeter. Okay, now again we have a circuit. Suppose again I'm having a circuit like this. Right? Anna, same resist battery is there. I'm having one resistance over here. One resistance over here. I want to find the potential difference between these two points. Right? These two points. So what I want is I want that whatever current is flowing in this is almost the same amount of current will flow in this high and tell me yes or no. That's right. That's the only way now how to find the rest, uh, voltage, right? If there is different current, if the difference is different current, right? Then the voltage will be different. So what I do is I connect it with a voltmeter. I connect it with a voltmeter. And voltmeter is basically what? Galvanometer is there. So according to my condition, very small current should pass through it. Right? This IG should be very small. This IG should be very, very, very small as compared to I. I and I, this is I. So if I want this current to be very small, what I will do? I will put a very high resistance, right? High resistance in series, right? Very high resistance in series with the galvanometer, right? So this whole circuit, this whole circuit is your, tell me, this whole circuit is your voltmeter. That is your voltmeter. Okay, right? Clear? High enough. High enough. voltmeter? So voltage, this voltage is equal to what? Voltage across this plus voltage across this. Okay? Okay? Chalo. I guess this is clear. This is clear. The next, the next is, next, next is Wheatstone Bridge. Very important concept. Very important. Wheatstone Bridge. Wheat Stone Bridge. Right? So, this is a bridge. This is a bridge. This is a bridge. Right? Right? So, the Wheatstone is the name of the scientist, right? Wheatstone was the name of the scientist. Okay. So, that is the name. That's why it is called as Wheatstone Bridge. Now, let us talk about the circuit first. Okay. Let us talk about the circuit first. Now, suppose I'm having a circuit like this. 
Suppose I'm having a circuit like this. Everyone think about it. This is a circuit. And we have a resistance like this. This, 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 and this. Okay. And this is connected with the battery. This is connected with the battery, right? Right, everyone? I'm audible, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, suppose this is 10 ohm, this is 10 ohm, this is also 10 ohm, this is also 10 ohm, right? I hope all of you have solved this, huh? Right? Sir, think about it, right? Sir, if it is current I, now if this is 10, 10, the current will flow here, I by 2, and the current will flow here, I by 2, according to KCL high enough. And the current which will flow outside will also be I, and this is also I by 2. This is also I by 2. So, using the concept KBF, sorry, KCL, can I say, sir, since I1 current, since I current is flowing here and here, and same, I by 2 current is flowing from this side to this side, what would be the current in this loop? Tell me, what would be the current in this loop? Everyone, tell me. What would be the current in this common resistor? Zero, yes or no? High enough. Zero. So, if if I'm just naming it as R three, so I in R three, I in R three, will be equal to zero using KCL. Hi, Anna. Sabko samajh mein aaye. Bindu, Sai, Hima, Vinutha, everyone. We have already done it, but I'm just asking you once again, do you get it? Priyanka, Sanya, Samya, Vivek, Ronak, Rohit, Samart, Amnish, Sandesh, Vinutha, anyone? Kisi ko dikkat hai, kisi ko dikkat hai puchho, kisi ko dikkat hai puchho, samaj mein aarai hai? Yeh sabko samaj mein aarai ki nahi? Okay, very good, hai na? Okay, sir, since current in this R3 is zero, the circuit will be just, the circuit will just become like this, na? Tell me, the circuit will just become like this. Hata dhenge, ignore kar dhenge usko. Right? So, yeh asa ban jayega circuit. Then yeh series file ho gaya, we calculate kar dhenge. Yes or no? Series file ho gaya, we calculate kar dhenge. Yeh 10 tha, yeh 10 tha. Ye bhi 10 tha, ye bhi 10 tha. Right? Easy ho jayega, solve ho jayega. Ha ya na. Okay? If the circuit is like this. If the circuit is like this. This is 10, this is 20, this is 30, this is 60, this is 50. Now tell me. Yes or no? Can I do the same thing? Now, think about it. Right? When you talk about when you talk about the current, when you talk about the current, think about it. Can I say, sir, when you talk about current, the ratio of current, the ratio of current going the circuit, if potentially is same, if potentially is same, then I1 by I2 is basically equal to R2 by R1. I and how many of you remember this? How many of you remember this? If the circuit is like this. Yes, sir. For this circuit, 
This is R1, this is R2, this is I1, this is I2. Can I say this? Tell me, can I say this? Nayana, not rather. Nayana. Anyone have any doubt in this? Right? Okay. Now tell me. यहाँ से अगर करंट आई निकलेगा स्टेप बाय स्टेप स्टेप बाय स्टेप तो फिर धीरे से पूछिए तो यहाँ से अगर करंट आई रहेगा सपोज यहाँ से जा रहा है आई वन यहाँ जा रहा है आई टू ओके राइट और यहाँ से करंट निकलेगा आई हम लोग कैलकुलेट करेंगे बट पहले लॉजिकली सोच लेते हैं नाउ टेल मी व्हाट इज़ द रेश्यो ऑफ करंट ओवर हे� Tell me what is I1 by I2? Everyone, step by step. What is I1 by I2? I1 by I2 is how much? 20 by 10. So it is R2 by R1. R2 by R1. So it is 20 by 10, which is 2 is to 1. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna. Yes, sir. And suppose the current, this current is I1 dash and I2 is I2 dash. What is I1 dash by I2 dash? What is I1 dash by I2 dash? 60 by 30. Right? 60 by 30. This is also 2 is to 1. Hi. Hi. Now. Sapko samajh nara hai cheese. Sapko samajh nara hai. Sapko samajh nara hai. Sapko samajh nara hai. Hi. Now. Yes. So can I say, sir, in this case, if, if you are thinking like this, I can say sir, I1 by I2 is equal to is equal to I1 dash by I2 dash. Ayana, if if R2 by R1 is equal to so this is R this is suppose R1, this is R2. This is R3, this is R3. R2 by R1 is equal to R4 by R3. Hi, Anna. Yes or no? Yes or no? Now, let's suppose we have a step by step. Logic. Just logical understanding. I don't know any question. Logically, tell me. Yes, everyone is understanding. Hi, Anna. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? 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 Step by step. Right? Anyone have any doubt on this? Anyone have any doubt on this? Kisi ko yaad hai dikkat hai to poochho. Kisi ko yaad hai dikkat hai poochho. Kisi ko bhi dikkat hai poochho. Abhi poochho. Baad mein, right? Baad mein class ke baad and all dikkat hona. Abhi soch ki kya hai, kya sahi hai, kya galat hai, kya dikkat hai mujhko. Main isko par drive karunga. This is logical thing, right? This is just logical, hai na? I will drive it. I will drive it also. Okay, so now think about it, sir, if I1 by I2 is equal to I1 dash by I2 dash, can I say, sir, jitna current is there jai ga, utna hai current is there aega haa yana, yes or no, right, yes or no, and same, jitna current yaha se jai ga, utna hai current yaha se nikle ga, so there will not be any current in this R5, yes or no, haa yana, the current in I5 will be same, right, the current in I5 will be zero, anyone have any doubt in this? Right? I will, I will, this is analytical method, right? I will derive it also. Suppose this is A, B, D. I will derive it. I will derive it also. Take a suppose they go. Suppose they Now, if I say this proof, right? Let us prove now. Can I say, sir, potential across B, B is equal to B, D. Can I say this? I am not. Tell me, VB is equal to VD. Can I say this? Yes, correct. I can say this. I can say this. Right? Right? If, if it is balanced, so I VB is equal to VD. It should be there. Okay? Now, if VB is equal to VD, can I say, sir, VA minus VB should be equal to VA minus VD? 
आया और और VB minus VC should be equal to VD minus VC step by step step by step yes or no step by step yes or no आया ना so what is VA minus VB guys what is VA minus VB what is VA minus VB VA minus VB क्या है sir it is I one into R one आया ना right it is I one into R one and what is VA minus VB so it is I two into R two okay right and according to this according to this can i say sir i i is a potential is same na jitna ke nature jayega utna hi kaise jayega means i1 dash is basically i1 right so this will be what this will be i tell me i1 into r3 and this is i2 into right r4 right hai na hai na hai na So according to this, I one by I two is equal to R two by R one, and here I one by I two is equal to R three by by R four by R three. Now here I understood this, right? So these two are equal. These two are equal, right? I one by I two, I one by I two are equal. So can I say, sir, R two by R one is equal to R four by R three? So if the condition is this, if the condition is this. It is called as balanced Wheatstone bridge. Balanced Wheatstone bridge. है ना? So in this case क्या होगा? तुम ये R five को हटाकर solve कर सकते हो. You can just remove R five. There will not be there will not be any current in the R five. Clear है ये चीज? सबको समझ में आया? Tell me. Everyone got this? Tell me. हाँ या ना? Everyone got this? Step by step, everyone got this. Hi Anna. Hi Anna. Okay. So I guess all of you got this. All of you got this. Clear. ठीक है चलो वेरी गुड एवरीवन एनीवन एवर डाउट प्लीज आस्क प्लीज आस्क राइट इफ यू वांट आस्क हाउ वुड आई नो है ना राइट मानसी रिया यू आर गेटिंग ठीक है वेरी गुड है ना नाउ लेट अस सी द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ वीट स्टोन ब्रिज तो वन ऑफ द मोस्ट Important or widely used application is something called meter bridge, है ना? So let us see what is this meter bridge. Everyone, let us see what is this meter bridge. ठीक है, right? So next heading is meter bridge. ठीक है, meter bridge. So this is the application of Wheatstone bridge. Application of Wheatstone bridge. Okay, now what is this meter bridge? Why it is used? है ना? So basically, it is used to find the unknown resistance. It is used to find unknown resistance. Used to find unknown resistance. Unknown resistance of a resistor. Right? ठीक है. अब कैसे? My question is कैसे? Now, what we do is, what we do is, we make a setup, right? Let us let us make a setup. So now, okay, this is a setup, right? This is a setup. Okay, right? And we will have one this this kind of battery. This is a battery. Okay. Okay, so basically this is a battery. Right? This is a battery, and now this is a circuit. Now in this circuit, we will have one known resistance. Suppose this known resistance I will say it as P. So the value of P is known, and this is Q. This is Q, and Q is your unknown resistance. 
unknown resistance. And P value is known. This is your known resistance, right? Jo tumko pata hai, right? And we will have a small galvanometer and connected with a moving. Tell me, it is connected with a, right? Moving end, right? This end is moving. This end will move. And this actually, this this line is nothing but one meter long resistor. Okay, right? One meter long resistor. Clear hai chiz. Sab ko samajh mein aa raha hai. Haan na. One meter long resistor hai ye. ठीक है नाउ टेल मी इफ 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 आई एम कनेक्टेड ओवर हियर थिंक व्हाट इफ आई एम कनेक्टेड ओवर हियर राइट दिस लेंथ विल बी व्हाट दिस सपोज दिस लेंथ इज एल मीटर एल सॉरी एल सेंटीमीटर राइट या एल मीटर सो व्हाट इज दिस लेंथ टेल मी व्हाट विल बी दिस लेंथ ये लेंथ कितना हो जाएगा व्हाट विल बी दिस लेंथ सो इट इज 1 माइनस एल इफ इट इज इन मीटर और 100 माइनस एल इफ इट इज इन सेंटीमीटर यस और नो हाय आना यहां तक समझ में आया Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me. Yahan tak kisi ko dikkat hai? Anyone have any doubt in this? Theek hai? Now, let me yeah, let let me ask you the formula of resistance. Tell me what is the formula of resistance? R is equal to two L by E. Yes, sir. Now, since this is the same resistor, can I say, sir, that this 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 section, right, called as R one, and this is R two. So, what is R one, guys? What is R one? Tell me, what is R one? R one will be rho length is L by area is A. And what is R two? What is R two? Tell me, what is R two? R two is rho. Now length is one minus l, one minus l, right? One minus l, है ना? By area is a. Now tell me, don't you think so? This is acting as a weak stone. Tell me, हाँ या ना? This is basically a weak stone, right? Resistance R one, resistance R two. This is a galvanometer. This is an resistance. So this is another resistor. Yes or no? Yes or no? Can I can I say, sir? This is this is just like a weak stone bridge. So I can say P by R one using the concept of it from P by R one is equal to Q by R two. Hi Anna. Hi Anna. Anyone have any doubt in this? Anyone have any doubt in this? Right. So can I say that? Can I say that P by Q is equal to R one by R two? And what is R one by R two? What is R one by R two? Sir, R one by R two is L. By one minus n, right? If l is in meter, है ना? If l is l is in centimeter, right? So it will be l by hundred minus n. If it is in centimeter, if in centimeter, in centimeter. सब कुछ समझ में आया? सब कुछ समझ में आया? Tell me, हाँ या ना? तो जैसे तुम्हारा जॉकी का लेंथ चेंज होगा, वैसे वैसे तुम्हारा रेसिस्टर चेंज होगा. And you can get any unknown resistor, right? You can get the value of Q. If P is given, you can get the value of Q. हाँ या ना? Tell me. Everyone got this? Tell me, everyone got this? Raise your hand. Yes, sir. सबको समझ में आ रहा है? सबको समझ में आया? हाँ या ना? Right? So see, this is same thing, ना? Okay. Right? I hope all of you got this. I hope all of you got this meter bridge. Why it is used? How it is used? And all. ठीक है? Okay. Now try solving this example. Everyone try solving this. Solve this one. Everyone try to solve this. Around the triangle, solve it. Very easy. Solve it.
very good very good everyone okay very good yes so see it is a beach to bridge jaise bhi tumko dikh raha hai na right tum tumko bas ye dekhna hai ki a aur b ke beech mein so it is basically a beach to bridge it is just like this thoda sa tumko visualize karna padega hai na thoda sa visualize karna padega isko pakad ke khinch lo isko pakad ke kheecho to aisa ban jayega right pakad ke kheecho to aisa ban jayega theek hai so this is a beach to bridge These two will be in series. These two will be in series. Then parallel. ठीक है? Done. Now let us try to solve one more problem. Everyone, let us try to solve one more problem. Okay. Solve this one. Everyone, solve this problem. Solve this one. Imba, समझ में आ गया तुमको Imba गलत था. Seven R by two कैसे होगा? It is just R. Solve this. second इम्बा बिना बीच स्टोन के बनेगा ही नहीं इम्बा हाउ कैन यू सॉल्व विदाउट बीच स्टोन सीरीज पैरल थोड़ी ना है कोई इसमें सीरीज पैरल कनेक्शन थोड़ी ना है बीच स्टोन के बिना तो बनेगा भी नहीं राइट हाउ कम यू गॉट सेवन आर बाई टू बिकॉज इट इज नॉट दिस इज नॉट पैरल यस और नो राइट ओके सिद्धेश चेक सिद्धेश वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स ना यू है वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स Step by step, sub quiz solve करो. Take your time, take your time and try to solve this. Okay, Aviram, this is this. Right, two by x, two by x should be equal to six by eighteen. Hi Anna, hi Anna. That is what we have to do. Yes or no? Tell me, yes or no? Yes sir. Right. So x is easy. X is equal to six. So क्या दिक्कत है इसमें? Tell me, इतना time कैसे लग रहा है? कैसे इतना टाइम लग रहा है रेशियो सर दिस इज टू दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस इज टू दिस राइट बाकी तो फर्जी है बाकी तो कोई काम का नहीं है हां है ना टेल मी यस और नो एवरीवन व्हाट दिस एवरीवन व्हाट दिस कांसेप्ट यस और नो तानिया सौम्या हिम्बा ओके सो वन लास्ट प्रॉब्लम एवरी वन वन लास्ट प्रॉब्लम एक लास्ट प्रॉब्लम सबसे कर लो ओके वन लास्ट प्रॉब्लम ओके सो दिस इज अ प्रॉब्लम एवरी वन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू कैन सी दिस है ना आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू कैन सी दिस Right, find the value of R. Find the value of R in this. We have to find the value of R. Okay. Sir, galvanometer से कुछ flow नहीं कर रहा है वैसे यहाँ. Sir.
Pravesh and Anjali both are not there. Mutha is here. Mutha is here. Hema is here. Yes. Pravesh is absent. Siddesh is here. Yes. Hema is here. Sumaya. Sumaya was there, but she got disconnected, I guess. Sumaya is absent. Suhas. Suhas is absent for many days. Swami is present. Shreya is present, right Shreya? Shreya is here. Shreya is not here right now. Shreya is absent. Priyanka is here. Nishita is here. Nishita is absent. Nishita is absent. Shreya is absent. Okay. Maya is also absent. Minutha, Hema, Siddesh, Imba, Samya, Priyanka, Nishita. Right? We need only these students after. Isn't right? Just absent. Okay. Chalo. Dekho yaan pe. Simple, simple. Sir, we know that in this problem also. We know that. Right? Tell me what is the answer, everyone. Okay, Vivek. So suppose this whole equivalent, what is the whole equivalent is suppose R1. So can I say, sir, 100 by 200 is equal to R1 by 40 Hyana. Hyana. Right? Okay. So R1 is equal to what? R1 is equal to 20. R1 is 20 ohm. And what is R1, sir? R1 is the parallel circuit of 100 and R. So R1 is equal to 100 into R. By 100 plus R. This is equal to 20. So 20 will divide this 5 times. So 5R is equal to 100 plus R. So this R will go this side. R will become what? 4R will become 100. R will become 25. So this R is 25 volt. So 25 volt ohm. Clear as that sir, this R by ohm. So meter bridge is clear. Bitstone bridge is clear. Anyone have any doubt in this? Raise your hand. Anyone have any doubt in this? No? Right? Tomorrow we will complete, tomorrow we will complete a potentiometer also. Right? One potentiometer is remaining. Okay. After that, okay, Vivek, no issues. So, after potentiometer, we will solve uh, point 0.1, point 0.2 homework, then and point 0.3, point 0.4. Okay, till next week, we will be studying this chapter. Okay.